My name is Tommy McMahon. I graduated from Bowie High School in 1972. I was a captain of the football team and the baseball team. Growing up as a Catholic, I kind of liked the fact that God was distant and it was out there. I had a tight relationship with my parents and I knew there was things that I wouldn't do if my parents were sitting next to me. And then the idea of having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, having God sit next to me, would, would you do this, Tommy? And the answer to that question was no. The idea of having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ scared me to death. But after three years of college up at Frostburg, Two of my friends had come to Christ, Bruce Miller and Terry Taro, good friends of mine, tremendous athletes, and the guys that I really admired growing up. They confronted me one day and said, hey, Tommy, he says, if you died, would you go to heaven? And I said, I hope so. I've been a pretty good guy. And, and he said, Tommy, he says, that's not how it works. He said, scripture says that, you know, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And I says, well, I put myself in that category <laughs> on a numerous occasions. At that point in time, after in my third year of college up at Frostburg, I realized, you know, I had gotten to the point where I looked in the mirror and I didn't even like myself. What I turned myself into, I was a, I was a chump, you know, you know, a party and fool. And I knew my parents wouldn't be proud of me, and, and I wasn't proud of me either. So when those guys hit me with that, I said, okay, God, I've done things my way and they haven't seemed to work out all that well, so if you're as real as these guys say you are, have at it. For the first time in my life, it wasn't all about Tommy anymore. It was about Jesus Christ and what he had done for me and, and, and how he had saved me and, and, the, and the price that he paid for my faults and the continuing of my faults and that he would forgive me if I turned my life over to him. I was so on fire for Christ. When I came out and I went back to, to college my senior year, I started sharing the gospel with these guys. They say, come on, Mick, man, we know who you are. They says, don't give me that garbage. And I said, you know, that's fair. I realized at that point in time that I needed to walk my walk and not talk my talk. So I toned it down quite a bit in college and I realized that I needed to, to live it out. But uh, I still, there was that, still that deep need to share the gospel with people, and I wasn't quite sure how to do that. And then I realized where I'd heard the first time about the gospel was back in high school and in young life. So I went uh, to the folks that were in charge at that time and asked and said, hey, could I volunteer to do this? If I could share the gospel with high school kids and keep them from wasting the four years that I wasted at that time, I was coaching football at Bowie High School, so I had a, a natural place where I could go and talk to the kids about coming to Young Life. And the thing I learned, they were just as insecure as I was, and if they came, they weren't gonna come by themselves. They were gonna bring other guys with them to protect themselves. <laughs> and so they came and they brought the hordes of guys from the team with us, and a number of those kids came to know Christ. But again, I realized that life wasn't all about Tommy and it was, it was more about Jesus Christ and sharing Him and sharing Him with other people. You know, life is short, and, and I wanted to make the most of what left I have of my life, and that would have been to learn more about Jesus Christ on a daily basis, to share that love with others, and to help them see and become Christians as well, he does the work. There sure as heck ain't nothing in me or anybody else. It's it, you know, when God touches your life, He touches your life, and uh, and I couldn't be more grateful for the fact that He touched mine. He led me to the to the love of my life, to my wife Jean, a missionary over overseas for several years, and came back, and I met her, and fell head over heels in love with her, and she helped me to progress my relationship with Christ even further than it had been. He's given me four wonderful kids. My wife and I have shared the gospel with them. Several of them have come to know the Lord. Got a couple of them still out there, but uh, I still have faith that if God could save a schmuck like me, He could save them. I'm Tommy McMahon, that's my story. 
I hope that has an effect on you. What's your story?